nothing really helped. I was trying all of the things that I knew how to do to kind of alleviate my stress, alleviate my anxiety. Went into urgent care and the nurse practitioner was like, you know, I really don't like this. So they decided to run the EKG. I remember her saying, we're gonna get you into a wheelchair and we're gonna get you over to the emergency room. I get over there and there's a lot of commotion in the ER. And finally I was like, well, somebody tell me what's going on. And the nurse just grabs my ankles and she's like, honey, you're having a heart attack. It was the scariest words I could have ever heard. I didn't, it, it never had registered with me or crossed my mind that at 36 years old, I could have a heart attack. Well, thankfully that's pretty uncommon to have a heart attack uh, at that age, um, you know, but it can happen and it's more common with certain types of risk factors. You know, women especially may not present with classic chest pain or discomfort, uh, you know, with a heart attack or coronary artery disease. Sometimes it's more subtle. They got me into the ambulance and brought me over to the heart hospital. Even though it was Easter Sunday, uh, the cath lab team was there within a very short amount of time. In the cath lab, as an interventional cardiologist, we usually go in through an artery, either the radial artery in the wrist or the femoral artery in the leg, and we run catheters up and engage the coronary arteries that supply blood to the heart muscle, and we do that under live x-ray, we call it fluoroscopy. And then once we find the culprit lesion or artery that's involved, we use a small wire to try to navigate uh, past that blockage and then use balloons and stents to relieve the blockage and restore flow to the artery. And I was very, very fortunate that they caught it when they did. I had a 99% blockage of my LAD, which most people I don't survive from. Yeah, absolutely, it was very wise that she didn't ignore her symptoms. And especially in a heart attack, when an artery is completely blocked, time is muscle, so the sooner we can get to the patient and try to open up that, uh, that blocked or occluded artery, uh, you know, the more mu heart muscle that we can save and lower risk of complications down the road. It was a, a huge relief that it was no longer an emergency. Now this is, this is the start of a new process and a new life. I take every day and cherish it because tomorrow's never promised. The next minute's never promised. You know, this story highlights the importance of paying attention to your symptoms, and if something feels unusual or concerning to you, don't hesitate to get evaluated. It can happen, and it happens quick. Listen to your body. Even if you are a mom or a woman and you're taking care of everything else and everybody else, you have to take care of yourself as well.